I'm AJ Bame. I'm here at the Playboy Garage. Behind me is the Mercedes-Benz SL65 AMG. Back in the 50s, when Hugh Hefner first came on the scene and Playboy exploded in popularity, he drove a 300 SL Mercedes. It was the it car before people understood what it was. SL means luxury. This car has set the benchmark for a two-seat, top-down luxury motoring. This is the best, most expensive iteration that's ever been. Some people have called the SL chick cars, not this one. The styling of this iteration is more masculine, puts out over 600 horsepower. That's major Ferrari numbers. You gotta have balls to drive it. I was like, this is 100% a man's car. It's gonna be hard to handle. It was like the yacht of everything I've been in yet. There's a lot of fun aspects to this car. It's got style, it's got class, it's got kind of this, I'm gonna go on a Sunday drive. This SL actually has sort of a dual personality. It really is a smooth riding commuter for your Monday morning. On weekends, take the top off and you've got 700 plus foot pounds of torque to play with. The second that I just went full throttle, it didn't even hesitate. Oh shit! It's such a fun car to drive. This is the V12 by Turbo, and it doesn't get any bigger than this. This thing has so much noise, so much growl. It's not your typical Mercedes. AMG's done their tune on it. AMG. That means that this car was built in a special factory by one man. He signs his name on it. You would have no idea this is a $215,000 car that has that much performance and that much luxury. I am not surprised at all that this is the most expensive car out of the group. Even though it looks like such a manly car, it's so wonderful for even a girl to drive. You've got the seat warmers, you've got the nice leather, everything about it is so luxurious. One of my favorites so far. This automobile is replete with every luxury and motorsport upgrade in the Mercedes-Benz arsenal. They're very rare. When I see this car and I see a guy step out of it, I'm like, that guy knows what's going on. Quite frankly, it's a big badass Merc.